Any drug that changes how you feel um, really starts to interfere with, with what's going on with your brain. And the, the two brain chemicals, one of them is dopamine. That's the brain chemical that allows you to feel pleasure. The other brain chemical that really factors in, um, that's the brain chemical that keeps us from feeling depressed. What happens with, uh, with drug use is it affects the levels of these two things. If, if this is normal, if that's normal, normal levels of brain chemistry, normal levels of dopamine, normal levels of serotonin, you will feel okay. If, if you uh, drink alcohol, if you smoke weed, if you do cocaine, if you rail your Ritalin, doesn't really matter what drug it is, the, the levels change a little bit. But basically what happens is that they cause your brain to release excessive quantities of those drugs when they wear off, you go back to normal and you feel okay. Unless you start to do too much. And it can be too much in quantity or it can be too much in frequency. And as soon as that happens, and lots of you will have experienced this, the first thing that you notice is that when you do the same quantity of drug, you don't get the response that you got before. It doesn't feel as good. And when it wears off, the, the problem starts. You go down below normal and you do not feel as good. You start to feel uh, a little bit tired. You start to feel a little bit sad. You don't feel good. You don't feel right. And all of a sudden, you, d you remember that that stuff made you feel good. If you, for two or three days, did smoke too much weed uh, or uh, drank too much alcohol on the weekend, and you left it alone for two or three weeks, your brain levels would come back to normal and you would feel okay. You'd feel normally happy, you'd feel normally peaceful, you'd be able to experience normal, normal amounts of pleasure and stuff. And if you're feeling sad and tired, you don't want to wait to get better. You want to get better right now because this is unpleasant. And we don't like things that are unpleasant. So we're down here, we're feeling a little bit sad, a little bit tired. We remember that, hey, this stuff made me feel good. Let's do some more. So whatever the drug is, you do some more. And the perception is that it works. Like, up here, you're going to feel way better than you do there. You don't feel as good as you did here, but you don't notice that so much. Here you felt really tired and sad. Up here, you're feeling better. You know, you got some energy. Causes, this causes your body to produce a little bit more adrenaline. Uh, you're pumped up a little bit. You remember that a few minutes ago you felt sad and tired. You don't anymore. It's perfect. It seems perfect. So. Um, that wears off and because you are again stressing those two systems, you're stressing your serotonin system and you're stressing your dopamine system, it, your brain just simply can't recover. So down here you're starting to feel uh, anxious, you're again tired, you're starting to feel depressed and we don't like that. So we do some more. And again, it works. It, again, it gets us up feeling pretty good. Now you can see what's happening. Like we're sliding down this hill. It's a, it's a chemical hill that we slide down. And it, it, it can happen really, really quickly with, uh, with cocaine, with crack, with ecstasy. This kind of thing can happen in a few days. So uh, that feels good, that wears off, and we get down even lower. It, it, in, a, in a relatively short period of time, we are living under that normal life. 